Well, today is day 20 of 44 days of talking about transforming grief. I have been posting radio show links from an archived um, show list from 2010. And the guest today, the topic was letting go of the old you. My guest, Asha Ramakrishna, um, who I met in 2007 at a uh, spiritual retreat, and then synchronistically, both of us were taking road trips on in 2000. So we met in 2007, both of us taking road trips in 2008. I was with my daughter, drove 10,000 miles to see the Jonas Brothers all over the United States, 15 concerts. And Asha was on a road trip with her family, her husband, a three-year-old, and a five-year-old. And they were driving from Massachusetts to Central America. Well, one of the themes in our very different type of road trips was what we were letting go of. Letting go of parts of ourselves. Letting old parts of our lives die. And being in this in-between space of preparation, I'll call it, because I feel like that is what happens in that in-between space. Even in the being and the stillness, you're in preparation. And um, Asha left a corporate job that just did not feel in alignment with who, who she is, who she was any longer. Um, so in six years, she has really evolved in her work and there were a couple of things we talked about on the show. One is there was a moment where she talked about feeling so alive, being who she is. So just feel that, that opportunity to let go and release something. And in this in-between space, on your way to something new, you are feeling so alive in who you are. Then there is the... Um, you know, giving yourself space to feel all the feelings. Sometimes when we're letting go of something, it's because we we haven't had control over it. You know, we haven't made the decision to leave a job or sell our house. That life has changed. Our circumstances have changed. We've had a loss. Our lifestyle has changed. Um, it could be even something like you were promoted and you had to move as part of the promotion. And so that means you have to let go of part of your life. You have to let go of where you were living and who you are in that space. Um, so a couple things I want to presence here as I'm doing this summary for the show. Letting go of the old you. One is that Asha's website now, because I had mentioned her website there is ashaisnow.com and I will post that in the link here, the show description. I'm also going to put the radio show link there after I finish recording this. Um, and then the other thing, we talked a lot about sacred chalice principles. It was, um, it was a few years, so it's probably been 10 or 11 years now since Asha received this download of the Sacred Chalice Principles. And in the show, we really talk about all seven of them. We're interweaving them into our conversations. And then in the end, I have a list of what those principles are. But one of them all presents for you right now is that we're in this state of deconstructing and constructing our lives. So there is a point where in this letting go of the old self, you have to let something go. You have to let go of beliefs. You may have to let go of physical possessions. Um, you let go of the life you thought you were going to live. And this really, I had a number of guests who really have talked about this in beautiful ways about the, um, the challenges of being in that and Asha and I talked about, she was saying to people, give yourself permission to have a tantrum, a temper tantrum, be raw. It's just you don't want to stay in that. You don't want to stay in that place of complaining. 
but give yourself some space to really feel what is happening as you are letting go of the old you. And then knowing that there's this space in between where you've let go of something, but the new hasn't appeared yet. And it can feel, it is a void. It is an empty space and you want to keep it empty. Um, an example of that that I've used and have talked about on the, sh on the um, Facebook Live is when I moved to California and I would go to Agape Spiritual Center and I would be fully present when I was there. And I volunteered for a couple of things. But I knew that it wasn't about filling up all of my time with that spiritual community because I needed to be empty. I needed that in-between space. And if I had just moved from a community in Maryland, which was a very rich life, and then filled it in Los Angeles, then there wouldn't have been that, that in-between space. And it's important to feel the feelings and let yourself grieve that. Let yourself, even when you're going to something you, you, you're choosing, let yourself grieve the loss and the release of where you've been. Okay, so I'm going to put a couple of links up there. Check out Asha's website, and she has um, the Priestess Code on there, and she works with women entrepreneurs who are leaders, and so check it out. All right, see you tomorrow for day 21. Today was day 20 of 44 days of transforming grief. Thanks.